The wide shot, sometimes referred to as the long shot, shows the person from head to toe, usually as an establishing shot to show the subject and the surroundings. Wide shots have been around since films have been made. In the 1880s, celluloid photographic film as well as motion picture cameras became widely available in the form of kinetoscope. These early films were shot at a wide angle as it was the best way to keep everything visible for the viewers. By the early 1900s, films evolved from short clips to full-length motion pictures. As the length of the films evolved, so did the cinematography techniques, and the wide shot was used less frequently. In the 1960s, televisions entered the homes of many. The film industry saw this as a major threat and saw a decline in the popularity of cinema. This led to films having to stay one step ahead of the game by making innovations in cinema by introducing color and widescreen to many theaters. This is CinemaScope. This would give directors more room to shoot epic wide shots and vistas and letting the viewer see even more. In modern filmmaking, you'll see various kinds of wide shots from extreme wide shots to medium wide shots. Wide shots are a great tool to show the viewer where a scene is taking place. Or to show where a character is or what a character is doing. It can invoke happiness and tranquility. or darkness and despair. My favorite white shot is the opening fight scene from Once Upon a Time in the West. What's your favorite white shot? Comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.